Thanks. Guided imagery, it's more like you're guiding someone through the story. They're participating in the story, in the journey. In fact, a journey is a better way to describe it, yeah. right? Yeah. Hey everybody, I am Chris Thompson from Mike Mandel Hypnosis. This is Mike Mandel. Hi. We teach hypnosis, personal development, and in this video we want to talk to you about guided imagery because it's a very powerful tool that a lot of hypnotists use and we want to make sure you understand what the tool is, how it's different from a metaphor, and how to run a guided imagery session or part Perfect. of a hypnosis session. So, Perfect. Well put. Very cogent. Let's start with metaphor. Metaphoric elements will resonate with the unconscious mm -hmm. mind and often cause change or some sort of understanding. We talk in metaphors. We live in metaphors. We'll say that hits the nail on the head. It's a metaphor. It's not real. But metaphors are how our brains work. Now, now, when we tell a story to someone that has metaphoric elements, they can experience personal transformation. It will teach lessons often beneath conscious awareness. But guided imagery is different, isn't it? Right. So it, it, coming back to a metaphor, in, in the case of a metaphor, let's say we mean a story here. We're telling you a story and you're not in the story. You're just listening to it. Your conscious is being entertained by the content. And then there's either a hidden message or a structure that, Something that'll get the change mm -hmm. to happen. But you're listening to a story, and for that reason, it can be done with no trance at all. It'll mm -hmm. cause a trance if you tell it slowly and deliberately, or it can be done in light hypnosis. You wouldn't go beyond light hypnosis because metaphor keeps the conscious mind entertained while the structure makes the change. But guided imagery is a different thing. Guided imagery, it's more like you're guiding someone through the story. They're participating in the story, in the journey. In fact, a journey is a better way to describe it, yeah, right? Yeah, it could be saying mm -hmm. to the person, and you imagine you're walking down that corridor and you open the doors in front, and you see this bright new tomorrow, and there's people playing golf, whatever I'm saying. They're in, they're they're in, in the it. story. And for that reason, you can do this in a very deep trance and give them a very powerful experience. Right, where we normally wouldn't recommend telling stories in deep trance, just do direct suggestion or guided imagery or some sort of intervention rather than storytelling. So in a guided imagery, the hypnotist is the director. Right? Yes. You're not having them choose their own adventure. No. You, the hypnotist, You're are guiding, guiding them. them exactly where to go. And like what's, journey to the and castle. What, yeah, and what's the client? The client is? The client is a participant. Like the main character. They're experienced. They're yeah. the main actor in the story. And mm -hmm. he said the director is the hypnotist. So we have a director and we have a main character and the director is giving the main character the journey. And this is an amazingly powerful technique. It is the heart of my uh, method for working in forensic hypnosis on major crimes. Uh, we're putting them through a journey, and the journey will activate resources and help them recall and so on. Okay, so how do you use guided imagery? We'll give you a few tips and how to package it into the whole trance experience if you're doing a hypnosis session. So step one, obviously, you're doing your intake, etc. Put them in a trance. You're trancing the person out, right? And you're going to be the guy. Don't give them a lot of options in an Ericksonian sense, but tell them next, next. And you want to take your pace slowly enough that they will have time to develop the story. And now we bring in a thing our friend Freddie Jackwin always uses with hypnosis. Which is? Emotions. Emotion, right. When you activate someone's emotions, your suggestions will be far more powerful than if it's just, and there's a door, and you go through, and it's going to kind of need. Yeah. It's like, no. Bring and it. you feel yeah. this sense of awareness and excitement as you walk through that situation, whatever. Bring in the emotions. It'll be much stronger. What else? Well, we're going to involve the three main systems of the brain, right? The visual, the auditory, and the kinesthetic feelings, physical feelings, or also emotions. emotional feelings, yep. which we already talked about. So you're going to flesh out the story very richly, or not the story, the journey, the journey. with visual, auditory, kinesthetic elements. Which will make it much stronger for the person mm -hmm. to experience. We don't know if they're primarily visual, auditory, or kinesthetic, so we hit all three of them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, of course, work with pacing. So yes. pacing, I don't mean pacing and pacing and leading. I mean pacing as in the pace at which you take someone through this journey. So you're not Slowly. hyperspeed. You're in Slowly journey. enough that mm -hmm. they can experience it, not mm -hmm. watch it on fast forward. Absolutely. And how are we going to end this? Well, we always recommend that when you finish the guided imagery, have somebody, when the story, the journey that they're on ends, before you take them out of trance or awaken them or whatever you want to call it, emerge them as some people like to say, we always suggest hammer at home with direct suggestion in hypnosis. What does that mean? 
It means tell them what will happen mm -hmm. in very simple terms. Offer them direct suggestions at the end of the journey. So this is what will happen. Don't frame your suggestions in the negative like I just told you not to. You're going to tell people what they will experience, what will change, what they will notice, right? What problems have been solved, that kind of thing. Where else do you want to go with this? I think that's it. All right. <laughs> so to do a guided imagery, make sure, trance them out, segue from the trance into the guided image, take them through that journey. Bring they are in the, the main emotions. character. Emotions, yeah. visual, auditory, kinesthetic, pace it, end with direct suggestion in hypnosis, bring them back and debrief your session and you're done. Excellent. All right, so that is it. Make sure that you check the description. We'll give links, actually, we'll put in the description link here, our free free audio, Journey to the Castle, because that's a really cool way for you to experience, experience it. it for yourself, totally free. And if you're interested in learning more about hypnosis, we recommend you check out the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. You'll find a link in the description as well. So hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, so you'll always be notified of our latest videos, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Thanks again, again, and good night. night.